Hi chewers, today we're making a tuna tartare with an avocado base. I'm going to start mincing my tuna. You want some nice lean tuna loins that you can chop in small cubes. So I've chopped up my tuna and I'm going to put it in my mixing bowl and add some spices to it. To season, I'm going to add about one tablespoon of minced ginger, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of sesame oil, a pinch of salt, and the zest of a lemon. When all of the ingredients are in, you just need to mix it up. When you're done mixing, just cover it up with some cling film or in a Tupperware and put it in the fridge. And now we're making our avocado base. You want to take one avocado, slice it in half. You want to score it with a sharp knife. Watch out for your hand. And with a spoon. So now we're making a sort of guacamole. You want to add some salt, slice a lemon and squeeze it in. You can use the same lemon that you've zested already. Remove the pits. Add about a glug, so about a tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm going to pick some fresh coriander, tear it up and put it in the bowl. And I'm just going to mash everything in the bowl with a fork. You want your avocados to be extra ripe so that they can smash really easily. You may want to taste at this stage the guacamole just to see if the seasoning is right. Mm, it's perfect. You can add some chili in there if you want. I like it plain because there are so many spices in the tuna already. So we've got our tuna tartare chilled from the fridge. I'm going to add a generous pinch of black sesame seed in it. You don't want to add them before chilling the tartare because you don't want them to be soggy. And mix it up. And we're ready to plate. You need to take your avocado. I have here a cookie cutter. This will help us to keep an even shape for our tartare. Take some of your avocado guacamole or mix that you've made. Scoop it into the base. And now the tuna tartare. Spoon it in and pack it gently. And now it's time to take it out. Ta-da! So you've got your tuna tartare, professional looking. You can impress your mother-in-law. I'm just going to add a few things. A little bit of sesame seeds on top and some coriander. And if you wish to finish, you can add a drizzle of olive oil.